In this video you will learn about such data structure which is called stack and we will implement it in JavaScript. And actually this is a question that you will get on interviews really often. So it is either please write the implementation of stack or what is the difference between stack and queue. This is why first I want to answer on that specific question. As you can see here in Google the stack follows last in first out order and the queue follows first in first out order. This is the diagram of the queue and this is the diagram of the stack. So essentially these are similar data structures with this single difference. And now let's implement it in plain JavaScript. And actually it is much easier to implement stack than queue and it is really difficult to implement a Tron. So what we need here is a class, we can name it stack and we need to have a property where we will store all our items. This is why let's create an array which will be empty. Now we must create several methods. Most importantly for us we have push method which will add an element to our stack and we will have pop method which will remove the element from the stack. So what we want to do here is simply use this items push where inside we are passing an element which we must provide inside our push and it can be any element that we want. I'm sorry for interruption but I just want to let you know that I have a membership here on the channel that you can join to support me. It will give you access to the new videos earlier, emojis and priority replies to your comments. After this we are using pop to remove an element from our array. And in order to do that we must use this items pop. And just to remind you what pop does, it removes the last element from the array and returns it. This is exactly what we need because we want first of all to return here an element that we removed and secondly we must return the last pushed element which actually means here inside push we are adding the element to the end of the array with the pop this exact element, the last one, we remove from the array. Now here we also must implement several helper methods. First of all is empty. But in order to implement is empty method we need also a size method. And what is size? We can simply check here this item's length and it is the length of our array. Now we can implement is empty method. Here we can simply return this size which will return for us the length of the array equals zero. And the last method that we typically need to implement inside stack is called peak and it will show us the next element that will be removed from our stack which actually means here we can return our these items and here we want to take this size which will be a length minus one. Why minus one? Because our indexes are starting from zero. So this is the whole implementation of the stack. We have here push, pop, these are most important and three helper methods. And all our items are being stored inside our items array. Now let's create an instance of our stack and check if it's working correctly. So our stack is just new stack, we don't provide anything inside. Now let's push inside several elements. For this we are using push method and our element will be for example an object with id 1 and name foo. And now here I will use push several more times, we have id 2 and id 3 and our names will be bar and bus. After this let's console log our stack.size so we can check if our method is working correctly. We also want to check here that our stack is empty, is false in this case. And after this we want to remove one element. Here I will write first element because this is the first element that we are removing and we do that by calling stack.pop. As our first element is being stored what I want to see here inside console log is our first element and also stack.items to check what we have now inside. Let's look in browser. First of all we have here three. What is three? This is our size because we pushed inside three elements. Is empty here is false because we have elements inside our array. And here is the element that we popped from our stack and this is the third element that we added. This is completely correct. And now inside our items we just have two remaining elements in the correct order. And actually if you are interested to know how to implement data structure queue make sure to check this video also.